How you doing? I'm Henry Moore III, and this is How to Mogul. Today, I'm going to show you how to buy Ripple or other alternate currencies besides what you see on Coinbase, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cash, and Litecoin. And for those that are new, I'm going to show you the price that's actually buying Bitcoin. So some of the things I will be able to show you, some I will not, but I'm going to walk you through the site so you know exactly what to do. Now, first off, you're going to need a few things. Number one, you're going to need money. So if you don't have any money, there's no reason for you even to do this. But you're going to need money, and it's going to have to be attached to a bank account, um, a debit card, or a credit card. Those are the three ways you can actually buy um, Bitcoin through Coinbase. Second thing you're going to need is a Coinbase account, which you see right here in front of me. And this is what we're going to use to actually buy the the Bitcoin. And the third thing we're going to need is actually an account through a site called um, Binance, which is shown here. And this is this is an, an exchange. Um, I think they're in China um, where you can actually buy the alternate currencies. And the reason we have to do this is because, again, you only have four currencies currently right now in Coinbase that you can buy. So we'll be transferring the stuff to Binance so we can actually buy Ripple or IOTA or any of those kind of other currencies. And um, don't worry, if you have any questions about the currencies and like when to buy and stuff, I think you should just be an informed you know, investor. So I'm gonna leave some links to a couple of websites that um, my friend Jimmy, he put me on to, because again, I'm, I'm fairly new, probably like a few months in, and it's a great way to kind of see what's up to date in the market. So you could kind of make an educated, um, you know, guess about where you should invest your money. All right, so let's get started. So, oh, second thing too, I'm gonna leave the links to Coinbase and Binance also in the descriptions, and I'm gonna I'm gonna annotate it in the video, and I will encourage you to use the link for the Coinbase that I leave you, because that will actually give us both money when you deposit money into Coinbase. If you deposit more than hundred dollars. We both get $10, which is great. We both get free money. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to leave a link for Binance as well. That leaves a referral link as well. With that, I will get money anytime you do a transaction. It's like a part of your transaction fee. So I encourage you to support and use the link when you sign up if you don't mind. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to assume you have money and we're going to sign into Coinbase. So what you're going to do is sign up. This is a very simple process. But it's kind of intrusive in a sense as well. So once you fill out all your information, it's actually going to ask you for, you know, like your your ID. It's going to want pictures of that and for you to upload it. Just, just go ahead and do it. They're actually in the U.S. Um, you know, they're regulated here in the U.S. It's, it's probably a safe bet. And I um, there's a few other ways you can buy crypto. Um, so you can buy some Bitcoin, but this right here, I think is probably the safest and easiest right now. I could leave you some links or if somebody asked me a question. I'll. I'll go ahead and put those up for you or show you how. But right now, we're just going to deal with Coinbase because it's the easiest way. So you fill out your information. You want to give them um, pictures of your ID and stuff, and that's going to register your account. The next thing you're no going to do is you're going to have to link a bank account or you're going to have to link a card of some type so you can transfer the funds in the Coinbase. So once you have that part set up, then you're going to actually be able to buy the currency so let's see if I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my coinbase right quick now when you're ready to buy click the buy sell buy you pick your payment method I wouldn't suggest Wells Fargo because um I, I'm, I'm not gonna go too much into that but I'm switching banks but <laughs> you will go ahead and pick your payment method so whatever payment method you pick whether it's your your PayPal your checking account or anything like that you'll put that there and you want to pick which currency that you want right now we want to do Bitcoin so that right there is already checked you could you see the check mark on the coin that you want to buy and then you're going to put the amount that you want to do so you could buy the max which is I think it kind of depends on how long you've been on it what kind of limit you have but again I'm not going to do this just because I already been through the process and I already have some money in there but you're going to do this buy coin now this may take a while you know i mean it took took um i think because i did it through my account it took almost like a week the last time i did this but you know it's, it's, it's not a quick process somebody told me if you do it through like a card or something maybe quicker 
But I think it just depends on Coinbase nowadays. Sometimes they'll, they'll shut down for a second. You can't do anything. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go to a website called GDAX. Now, the reason why we're going to do this is because there's a fee that's associated with sending your, your Bitcoin somewhere after you purchase it. So to kind of get lower fees, we're going to go to Coinbase's other company, GDAX, which is like their exchange service. The good thing is you don't have to really create an account. If you have an account for Coinbase, your account will automatically work with it. So we're just going to click sign in and it's going to log you in automatically. Now, after you go through the steps to add the extra information for GDAX, what you're going to do is go to deposit over here to the top left deposit and you're going to go over to your Coinbase account and it's going to ask you for your source and the amount. I don't have any cash in my wallet at the Coinbase. It's all in Bitcoin right now. So um, I'll just put, I don't know, like $50 or something in there just so y'all can see it. And we're going to go to deposit funds. Awesome. So I got that set up. Now we want to do is withdrawal. So now that we have the money from our Coinbase into the GDAX, now we can send it to the other exchange that you signed up for, which is Binance. Now what we're going to need from Binance is we're going to need um, an actual address for the Bitcoin to go to because we're transferring like funds. So let's see. There you go. Binance exchange. I have a link for this as well. It's down at the bottom. Please use it. So once you sign up for account and everything, what you're going to do is go to funds and down here to deposit withdrawals. Now, what we're doing is transferring like coins. So we have Bitcoin and we're just want to move the Bitcoin to where the Bitcoins are at in Binance. So what you're going to do to the right has deposit withdrawal right here. Bitcoin, if you don't see it, just type in BTC. That's the, the letters for Bitcoin. Click deposit. You're going to get a Bitcoin address. You're going to copy this. Make sure you have this exact because if you don't, you will lose your money. Now we got destination. Your destination is that deposit and this is like a temporary address so I think it only works just one time after you use it let's get this sent all right draw funds it's been withdrawn now this next process actually takes a little bit honestly sometimes a Bitcoin getting into your Binance account it, it could take like you know, three, four hours. So this is not going to be an instant process. So don't worry when you don't see it immediately. But when it does come up, what you're going to do is, because right now you just have it in the Bitcoin, you want to get it in the Ripple. What you want to do is go to your exchange and you go into basic. And what we're looking for, this looks very overwhelming, especially for new people. Uh, I'll, don't worry about every all this all the stuff that you see. What you want to do is go up here and you want to text in. You want to type in the the letters that represent the coin you're trying to buy. In this example, we're doing Ripple because right now that's the the thing to do. Hit enter, and that's going to change this down here. I already had typed it in earlier, so that's why it was already there by default. So you have what you're what you're trying to get from the Bitcoin. And how you can change this, because like if you have Ethereum or the Binance coin, you can actually, or Tether, you can actually switch it up here. But we're doing everything through Bitcoin. So click that BTC using Bitcoin. And you can pick how much you want to get. You can just put 100% of your Bitcoin. It's going to give me eight. And you're going to buy Ripple. And because all my Bitcoin ain't transferred yet, there's actually nothing I can do. As you saw, you got to have at least like, you know, $16, $17 to buy anything. And my $50 didn't resolve yet. So maybe in the, actually, yes, in like three or four hours, I'll go in there and buy the rest. But if you have any questions, 
uh, leave a comment, you know, shoot me a message and I'll do my best to help you out where I can. Again, use the links at the bottom and there will be some links to some sites where you actually can look up the news on cryptocurrency so you can make an educated buying decision. Um, I li definitely like to give a shout out to Brian. He's the one that kind of got me into investing a few months ago. So I've been learning a lot from him, looking at the candlesticks and give a shout out to Jimmy, who's been helping, you know, get me involved with using Binance and GDAX and learning more about the cryptocurrencies. All right. See you later. Peace.